Here, I'm going to show you how to combine formatted numbers and dates into useful, helpful text. So congratulations, you have saved $137.50 today. And this number is dynamic. It comes from this cell right here. So we can change this however we want, and it's going to update in that text. And the same for this date. Today's date is the 4th of October, and we can change it, and it updates right there, and in the format that you want. This requires just a couple steps, so let me get some more space on the worksheet and show you how to do it. Here we have a helper section that's going to help us better understand the concept. So what you want to do first is to get your text how you want to do it. That's going to be the very easy part. So we can just type, congratulations, you saved, and it just auto-filled because I had that up there, but let's put some placeholder values right there. You saved XX today. And then right here, today's date is XX. Get everything else how you want it except for the dynamic value, the number or the date. And then let's go down here and figure out how to get these values, which can be anywhere, which can be generated any way, which can be dynamic. We want to get them to look like we want for our output up here. And to do that, we use this really nice little function, the text function. You feed it the value that you want to format, and then the format that you want to give it within quotes. But how do we get that format? Formats can be quite tricky. Well, the format that we want, just click the number that you care about, and right click, go to Format Cells, which is currently off the screen. Make sure that you're on the Number tab, and then we have all of the formatting options for our value. So how we can change how it looks. But how do we put this into the text function? Well, go down to the custom category. And here we have a list of all of these custom formatting options that we can apply using the text function. Now there's many more things that you can do once you learn how to actually make this format code, but we're not going to cover that in this tutorial. These options that are already here are going to pretty much work. So what you want to do is to look up to the sample right here. And then go down here and click it until the sample changes to be what you want it to be. These are the number options. And what I want is this guy right here. So dollar sign, decimal places, and we can have a comma in there if it gets over a thousand. But the point is that once you have selected the format that you want, go right here, click, drag, and copy it. So select the type, copy it, and we can hit OK if you want to see the format right there, but that's not as important. I'm going to go ahead and paste it right here for reference. And we go here, equals text, this value, comma, then quote, paste that in, close quote, close it up, enter, and there you go. And now it doesn't matter what format this original value is. And this will also work for the date exactly the same. Right click, format cells, number tab, custom, down here for the dates. Let's choose this option. Then we can copy it from there. Okay. Paste it in here for reference equals text this value, quote, paste, quote, close, and there you go. And we can clear this just to make sure everything is good. Now what do we do? We combine it with our text up here. So we select everything except for the equal sign. We do not need that. And we go up to our text and we change it a little bit. We need to make it a formula. So equals, quote, and we go to right where we want to put the output. So where we want to put the formatted number, the XX. So we do a quote, we do an ampersand, we delete the X's, we paste in that formula, then we do space, ampersand, space, quote. It seems a little tricky, but we just put quotes around all of the text, an ampersand, then a formula, then an ampersand, and start the text again. And at the very end, we're going to need a quote as well. Then we can hit enter and we are good to go. And if you added too much 
like an extra space right there, we can go ahead and delete that. Not a problem. And all we do now is the exact same thing for this guy. So this will become much easier the more you do it. Equals, quote, go to where the X's are, quote, space, ampersand, space, delete the X's, paste the formula, space, ampersand, space, quote, and quote. And some people do not put spaces before and after the ampersand, but I find that incredibly difficult to read, so I'd keep those spaces in there. But this is all that you have to do. We hit enter, and there we go. We can change these numbers down here, and everything's going to update up there. We can change the date, and there you go. And once you have used this to get what you want out of it, go ahead and, well, don't delete the numbers, but you can delete these. They are no longer required. And that's how you can format numbers in text, including dates. If you'd like to learn so much more about Excel, make sure to check out my full Excel courses. I've got a link to those below this video. And if you're lucky, they might even be on sale. But for this tutorial, that's all there is. And if you liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to get all my new tutorials.